Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya slivers. We won the die roll again here. Let's do this. Um, yeah, this is a good hand. We'll keep this. I can dig it. Start getting those Ash Barons going. Get them cranking. Pass to you. See what they're doing. I think I've played against Morpheus. Morpheus BR, Black Red. Playing some Rakados. Possibly. Oh, okay. Artifact land. Alrighty. Uh, so this could be Tron. So let's start moving fast if it is. Get Lords out first. Pass. Uh, let's see. What else are you going to show me? If this is their opening hand, that's not the best opening hand for them. They can at least maybe get a moment's peace going. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's go plated. See if they have anything here. Hmm. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Letting that go through. I'm concerned about this po possibly being countered, but I guess not. No fear there. That's fine. And we can get our hand empty next turn if we want, but I think I'm just going to opt to keep swinging in. So, is this just affinity now with, like, green or something? Do they play green in Affinity? I guess they do. Well, we can attack into that. Thought cast, alright. Should be able to throw down another Frogmite here if they draw into it, right? Guess not. Blossoming. Let's get that out. I'm just gaining one life. It's okay. You can pass priority back. Thank you. Go ahead here, go ahead here, and keep swinging. Going straight through their main phase to the attack. And if they throw anything down too big, we can just start going hellbent here, which is nice. Could hit them for four next turn if uh, they throw down too big of threats, but I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, maybe going for some removal. Flow in the red. Did you draw what you need? There's a galvanic blast. All right, that'll die. Still able to attack in at you here. And we'll go to game two. Cool. All right. So for affinity. <laughs> Cleveland Sabotage. Uh, don't really want to bring in Standard Bearer. Let's see, do we need anything else? Probably dump a Blade back. Dump a Hunter. Could bring in a one Fireball. Uh, we'll leave in a Striking. 
I want to leave them both my other blade back, so, so let's cut a winding way. Let's run it like that. Looks good. Feels good. I'm down with it. Apologies if you can hear my children crying in the background. <laughs> I've been catching them in my videos as of late from all the way downstairs. <laughs> They just get louder and louder with age. Alright, we can keep this. Um, bit slow. But I can't really toss it back, obviously. Three Lords and a Viverlance. Got all their lands right. Let's just hope they don't have uh, too much of an explosive start turn three. That's really when Affinity can start cranking is like turn three and four. They could just put down an entire board of pretty decent blockers and flyers. So, all right. Oh, we get a untapped land. I'm still going to start with blossoming because we need to start getting these untapped. And uh, next turn we can throw down a lord or we can do blossoming into just a viverland to get things going. Especially if they throw down a frog mite here or something. Might just be what we want to do. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we'll just start lording it up. Could see a galvanic blast uh, to keep us at bay a little bit, but they'll have to crack the prophetic prism to do that, so. That kind of hurts them more than it hurts me to a degree. All right. There's a frog mite. Another frog mite. Very nice. And another frog mite. Okay. <laughs> and an enforcer. Okay. Yep. There we go. Well, that was turn three, right? Told you. Luckily, we can move pretty fast, too, here. Uh, I think we're just going to start setting up the board as much as we can. So I think we'll go gem hide and just start emptying our hand, put down a Viverlin, and then start just dropping lords up the wazoo until we can uh, attack in. They may start getting aggressive here on us. But once our board is set up, I think we'll we'll be in good shape. They got two cards left in hand, so as long as they don't have a uh, card draw outlet, uh, what is it, Thoughtcaster, whatever it is, uh, we might be in all right shape. There's going to be only so much they can do. Let's see. Just don't want to see card draw. Mm. Mm. Fling. Flinging. Right on my lord. Alright, that's not too big of a deal. And they sacked a frog might to do that, so... Again, not super crazy. They are starting to get super aggro. We're going to take this hit. Never fun to take eight, but uh, we got to establish ourselves here. Just going to put down as much as we can. Take out one lord, more will appear. Pass the turn. Not going to attack in, just going to keep back some some blockers here for a minute I don't want to get too aggressive and take too much damage here all right 
right, one card left in hand, and they don't want to play anymore. Okay. <laughs> I think we were in good shape anyways. We could have Ash Baron. Uh, we were getting ready to draw on two. Let's see what we... Because I would have Winding Way next turn, more than likely. So we would have hit a Plated and a Sidewinder. We would have been able to drop a Muscle. And I probably would have played the Sidewinder. We might have been able to start attacking in. So I think we had that wrapped up pretty nicely anyways. And... Yeah, once, if they don't have that card draw in Affinity to really just keep them going and, and circling, they just draw cards, slap them down, draw cards, slap them down, because uh, they're just getting more and more artifacts. If they can't do that, then they just have what they have, and then if you beat their board, they just, they're done. So we were already well on our way to beating what they had anyway. So good game to them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you did. Leave a comment below if you keep wanting to see more Naya Slivers. And make sure to stay tuned for Friday's video. And we will see you guys on Friday.